Hello CPTS 443 and 543 students. In this video, I'll show you the correct task sequences for the individual assignment in which you complete a cognitive walkthrough. The first step is to download the Elvis Live software that we're going to be using for the cognitive walkthrough. And I show a link here in this web browser this is a link that's also available in the assignment description. So you just uh, click the uh, input this link into your web browser and uh, then download the Elvis Live uh, software, which comes as a zip file. It will warn you that it could be dangerous, but you want to keep it. And you could then uh, go into uh, the, that folder and click on the um, Click on the release folder in there and the setup.exe, and that will walk you through a wizard that will allow you to install the software on your computer. Now, it does have to be a Windows machine. Uh, it only works on Windows. So if you don't have one, try to get access to one or contact me if you have a problem with this. Okay, so once you have Alvis uh, installed and you uh, open it up, uh, it'll look something like this. And for this assignment, you're going to be walking through a task in which the user implements an array iterative algorithm, which, as you recall from our discussion in class, uh, is the focus of the Alvis uh, uh, novice programming environment. It's to provide a, uh, an easy way for novices to learn how to program uh, array iterative algorithm. So the specific algorithm that we're going to be implementing for this assignment and uh, doing the cognitive walkthrough on is the find max algorithm, which finds the maximum value in a list. So the first step in this is to create an array. And you recall in class, we did create an array uh, of seven elements. So I do that by selecting create array and then dragging out an array with seven elements. You can see that generates a create statement. Actually, I've created one with eight elements, um, but I believe the assignment says seven, so it, it doesn't really matter so much. Um, but there you have it, uh, an array with uh, eight cells. And then you want to populate that array, so click on Populate, and uh, position the, the cursor over one of the array cells, and it will populate uh, with uh, randomly selected values. So now we have the array that we're going to use to find, we're going to find the maximum value in that array. So as you recall, find max uh, simply iterates through the array one value at a time, comparing it to the maximum so far. And if it, the value we're currently iterating on is greater than max so far, then we update the max so far variable. So for that purpose, we're going to need a max so far variable. So there we have a variable created I just showed you. Uh, and I'm going to edit it so that it's called max so far. So I can do that over here. Max so far. OK, so now I need an array index. So I'm going to click on the array index uh, tool. And I'm going to click on the position of the array index. And that sets the index. Uh, to the, the zeroth value of the array. And, and that, that uh, index will iterate over all the values. So now, to, in order to create that iteration, I'm going to go and use the iterate loop tool. So I click on the loop tool, and I then, then dra grab the uh, index of the array and drag it over the range of the iteration to simulate that I want to iterate over the entire array. You can see a while loop is inserted there with the iteration. And now I have to define the comparison between the current value being iterated over in the array and max so far. So I use an if, the if tool for that purpose. So I click on if, and uh, I then click on the value that I want to compare, the left-hand side of the if statement. And Alvis gives me several choices for what that might mean. It means a1 sub i1 in this case. It's the ith value of the array and I want if that is greater than a variable which I'm about to specify and that variable is max so far 
then so we, we could have an if statement if a sub 1 i 1 is greater than max so far then what do we want to do we want to set max so far to a sub a 1 sub i 1 and so we use the set statement for that pur purpose so we want to set max so far to a variable we say okay and we say that the variable is a1 sub i1 so there again it has to clear we have to clarify what that is and it is a1 sub i1 so there we have our, our array iterative algorithm we've now completed the entire algorithm completely by direct manipulation and you can see the algorithm in the, in the script editor on the left we could then execute the algorithm by choosing the fast forward button and you can see as we're iterating through uh, max so far as expected is updating if uh, properly um, to indicate that it's the maximum value in the array so there we've completed the iteration and we're done so that is precisely the uh, the sequence of steps that you need to uh, evaluate using the cognitive walkthrough have fun with it